What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. Now, I am going to be doing a reaction review to the Captain Marvel trailer. Yes, I know I'm extremely late to the party on this, so I apologize, but I have managed to not watch this trailer since it was released until now, so I hope you guys all enjoy it. Since I haven't seen it, I haven't uh, spoken too much about my criticism for it. I did mention on one of the episodes of the Common Sense Crew that I if they're going to try to introduce this character and be like, oh, she's the new face of Marvel, she's going to save everyone from Thanos after we just watched Thanos destroy everyone, I don't think that it's, an, and they want to say, oh, you know, here's our female lead, respect her. Uh, but they're not even showing her the same respect. I think that if they want to really establish her as a character, they should do for her what they did for Iron Man. And as a kid, I don't remember too much about Iron Man. I mean, I remember like the three main superheroes, which was Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man. Those are the three main superheroes that pretty much are universally known throughout the world. And then, of course, you have characters like Wonder Woman. You have other characters like Green Lantern or, you know, the Fantastic Four. You have other characters that are, they're, you know, very well known that most people would know who they are. But Captain Marvel has never been one of those characters. And also, she didn't start off as Captain Marvel. She was Miss Marvel. And then they made her into, or she became Captain Marvel. So I don't already... I'm kind of off put by the fact that they just dissed the fact that she was Miss Marvel. And it's like, oh, let's make her Captain Marvel because I, I don't know. I feel like in some way that they're going to think that it's kind of, you know, looking down on a woman to call her Miss instead of Captain. I mean, really, come on. She was Miss Marvel for years and then she became Captain Marvel. And I, I think it's doing her a bit of a disservice as not establishing her as a character and just throwing her into this franchise with all these already established characters. Like, Iron Man has three movies. Before, like like I said, when I was a kid, I didn't, I can't really remember too much about Iron Man. Like, I, he wasn't a big part of my childhood. But when Iron Man the movie came out and started off the Marvel franchise, it's like, wow. Now when Iron Man's on screen, you know shit's going down. Iron Man means business when Iron Man shows up. And he had three movies and the Avengers movies to solidify him as a character and why he is so important to this universe and why he is one of the main characters in this universe. And for him to face off Thanos and to not be successful, that's a really big deal. So having this other character just thrown in and be like, she's a woman, you respect her, She's going to be the main character. She's going to save everyone. It's like, well, really? Like, okay, if Wonder Woman shows up, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know. Uh, I, I'm 100% behind Wonder Woman, but Wonder Woman is a already established character in a different universe. She's in the DC universe, not the Marvel universe. But everyone knows who Wonder Woman is, so it wouldn't be a surprise with Wonder Woman coming in and saving the day. Now, as Captain Marvel not many people know who she is. So I don't think that it's necessarily fair if you want to just throw her in. She's going to get a lot of backlash because nobody knows who she is. They're probably not going to deliver the story as well because they're just trying to shove in your face that it's a female character when it's like, um, Iron Man got three movies to explain who he was over a period of time, showing also the evolution of all these other characters. Why didn't they show Captain Marvel? And... I could be wrong because they did a very good job with Black Panther with introducing him in Age of Ultron and then doing the movie about him. So they could potentially do that with Captain Marvel, but at the same time, I think if they really want to give her the attention that they are saying that she deserves, they should have done that. They should have done you know, done the origin story with the first movie and then done another one and shown her. Maybe this will be her intro movie, and then after, they will do a few movies about her if it's successful. I honestly really hope it's successful, because I don't want to see these movies fail. I love the Marvel franchise, and I love going and watching Marvel movies. So, fingers crossed. With that being said, I know that was a little bit of a long intro, but uh, let's go in and watch the trailer. Alright everyone, I have the trailer up, so let's just jump right into this. And again, I've never seen this, I haven't seen any part of this trailer, all I've seen are the images that everyone is saying, you know, she wasn't smiling. So let's see how this goes. I'm, I, I'm excited because I'm so used to Marvel movies, but I've heard a lot of the bad things being said about it. I don't want to make my opinion on it just because I haven't seen it, so let's, let's get going. Okay. <laughs> Blockbuster! Yes! Oh my gosh! Flash from the past. Okay. Alright, homegirl. What section was she? 
Whose voice is that? I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Okay. Who's she screaming? It occurred to me that one might come from above. Okay, Nick Fury. She's in, she's in green. Okay, Marvel just turned blue. Thumb. Space invasion. Big car okay. chase. Looks very action packed. I was ready to hang it up. Yes, Nick. Well, I miss you today. <gasps> Here's his eye. Oh, you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. She smiled. I don't see what the big deal is. She just smiled. Okay. Having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. Okay. But I can't tell if it's real. Jude Law! Yes! Ah, Nova, I'm so excited. Special effects look great. Oh, okay. That meme makes a lot of sense now. Okay. I'm not what you think I am. Uh, okay. Let me, uh, hmm. All right, so after watching that, I mean, I didn't think it looked bad. It looks interesting. I think the special effects are great. I'm, to be completely honest, I'm more excited to see the backstory on Nick Fury than I am to see about Captain Marvel, but I don't see where all this, like, intense backlash is coming from. I mean, she does smile. I, just because she's not dressed all sexy like Wonder Woman, I don't see that as bad or uh, or how this is really... I mean, maybe I'm missing something as far as what's being said by the people that are making the movie, but just from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be kind of like a Black Panther movie where you get a, a little snippet of who the character was in one of the Avengers movies and then they come in and they take care of business and... Maybe there's going to be some virtual signaling in it, but just from this trailer, I didn't see that. I mean, I think my favorite part of the trailer was actually seeing the blockbuster, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. Like, I'm, I'm interested in it. Uh, I know a lot more about Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel than the general audience is going to know just going into seeing the movie because I did have to study comics in college. So I do know a little bit about her and what's going on and who some of these characters were. Uh, I, I'm... I mean, I'm mildly excited about it. I was more excited to see Black Panther than I am to see this, but I, it doesn't look as bad as everyone is saying. So, I don't know. I mean, I just, and I mean, Brie Larson, yeah, I think she was good in 20, uh, was it 21 or 22 Jump Street? Uh, it was one of the Jump Street movies. She was funny in that. I don't see and I'm, I didn't watch Room because I know what it, that movie's about and I didn't feel like crying. But, I mean, she's won an Oscar, so we know that she can act just because, you know, she's not very all, you know, glamified and all sexualized like Scarlett Johansson is as Black Widow or Gal Gadot is as Wonder Woman. I mean, I don't see that as bad. I mean, I honestly would probably prefer to wear her costume uh, as compared to the Black Widow costume, but that's just my own, like, I feel like that it makes a little bit more sense as c for fighting, and since, you know, it's from uh, Nova Corps, but anyway, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it. I, I, maybe it'll be different once more trailers come out and once I go and watch it, but as of right now, just with the trailer, not doing any research on the people that are making the movie, well, that's Disney and Marvel, but seeing what the people are saying, because I know it's very different when uh, you go and watch a trailer or a movie and then it's like you have the people that are making it be like, oh, if you don't like it, you're sexist and racist. It's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> but just... As it is, as the trailer, I did enjoy the trailer. I don't have too many problems with it. I mean, some of the special effects were a bit meh, but I mean, it's a Marvel movie. I'm not going in expecting, you know, an Oscar-nominated or an Oscar-winning movie. I'm not expecting something 
you know, glamorous and beautiful, but, like, life-changing, like Lord of the Rings. I'm going and watching, you know, a Marvel movie. I'm going to see some action, some superheroes kick ass and to laugh. That's what a Marvel movie is to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I know I probably have a different opinion than most uh, other people do, but this is my opinion, so it is what it is. And everyone, have a great rest of your day, and may the force be with you, because we are going to need it.